Transformers, robots in disguise. Alright guys, we're back with another video and today's video is Transformers, the new run that's going down in Image Comics, supervised by Robert Kirkman, the creator of Invincible and The Walking Dead. We pick up where we left off in the last issue, but this time, from Optimus' point of view, we see him making, or rather having a conversation with Spike's father, the human he met earlier that got injured because of the battle with the Decepticons. We see both of them discussing all the stuff they have been through, the battles they have been in, the people they have killed, the people they have lost, the people whose loss fueled their rage, and the battles they have won. We see that these two people are not too different. The only difference is one war was over and the other was still being fought for thousands of years. We already see that Optimus is starting to doubt himself, feeling like all these years he has grown no wiser and he feels like he's still fighting the same war over and over again. But with the Decepticons, they had just destroyed one of their mates just to fix an engine. That's how bad they are. They literally picked one of their boys tore him to shreds and use his parts to fix the engine. In the Decepticon ranks is the strong outweigh the weak. And at this moment, Shockwave wanted to use the machine to bring back one of his pets, but <laughs> Starscream was like, nah, we are at war. We need soldiers. So they brought back one of their mates, another jet. And at that moment, we see the machine continuously brought out more after more. And at that moment, they discovered that the Autobots have also found the Energon deposit the Decepticons were using. So they had to pull up and destroy them. With the help of the new raised Decepticons, Starscream sought out, transforming into his jet form, and they went to do battle. While they were coming to hunt, the Decepticons didn't know that the Autobots also planned to revive some of their mates, grading the humanoid engine so that the engine was going to provide the city with light for decades. Decades. Alien tech is fantastic. Just as he flipped the switch and the engine came on, instantly they called for Optimus to come and heal himself because they needed him to win this battle. But Optimus being the self-righteous leader he is, thought it was best to revive his girl, RC. And boy, I love me some RC. Not only is she one of the best fighters, but she's also the coolest, or one of the coolest Autobots ever. As soon as she woke up, she jumped into battle, saving Ratchet from the Decepticon bombardment. And it was up. Everybody was fighting everyone, human against Decepticon, Autobots against Decepticon. While all this was going down, while Optimus was laying cover fire, RC and Ratchet decided to bring back Jazz. To stop them, Starscream decided to unleash Reflector to attack. And he did, honestly. But the thing is, Optimus was done playing, pulling out Megatron's cannon and blasting Reflector into dust. For those of you who are new to the Transformers franchise, you might think this is new, but Optimus has always been on timing. He's just nice, you feel me? When he decides to kill, he kills. And this is exactly what we see when Reflector's mans realize Reflector is dead and tries to attack Optimus. Optimus just grabs his leg and flings him on the ground, destroying him on impact. Like dead ass fatality, my guy. Carly wasn't going to lay still because she saw Starscream. One of the guys who killed, matter of fact, he killed her father. So she shot at any Decepticon she could. But the Decepticons don't hold back, shooting back. She fell. She was going to die on impact. But RC went into action. This is when we see her combat mode and her vehicle mode. Her vehicle mode being a freaking Lamborghini. And she was nice with it too. Drifting on the side of the hill, she was able to open her door so Carly could land safely inside the vehicle. When Ratchet saw this, he was happy. Everyone was happy. No one was happy more than Cliff Jumper though, but that was the problem. He was so distracted, he wasn't watching his back. He was about to die. But as I said before, they had brought back Jazz. Using his shotgun, he split the Decepticon in half. The Autobots were starting to rally. This was good. 
But at the end of the day, Autobots are not happy for long. Because where Autobots are smiling, Decepticons are hating. And no one hates as more than Starscream himself. Deciding at this moment he was going to destroy the Autobots machine. Optimus saw him and knew he had to die, unleashing the cannon. But Starscream was quick. He was able to duck on the Optimus and destroy the machine. Right when he was about to celebrate, Optimus doesn't miss twice. Shooting him with the cannon directly at his side, taking half of his body with him. Starscream decided at that moment he had to run. He didn't want to die at this moment. Realizing the Decepticons were on the retreat, Optimus was not going to let this opportunity pass him by, telling his Autobots to give chase. And so, they went to kill them. But just before they could get to their base, boom, they were attacked. This was a trap all along. A big ass truck blindsides Optimus in his vehicle form. Another takes away Ratchet's leg. We see Starscream laughing, laughing like Megatron because this was a deceitful play by the Decepticons. Starscream had apparently revived five smaller bots who apparently were combiners. And if you know the combiners, they combine, combining into this massive destructive force. As soon as Optimus saw his face, he knew, yeah, it's up. Because standing before them, towering above even Optimus's head was the Decepticon the Devastator. This was about to be a disgusting beatdown. Alright guys, this is the end of this issue. Remember to like and subscribe and share. God bless you. Thank you for watching.